Hey, it is Jam, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss the intersection of spirituality and technology. So we are jumping right on in Sagittarius. This is you all's uh, money, wealth, outlook for the Venus and Taurus transit. And um, this reading is for Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius's sun rising. I keep, kept forgetting to say rising in my other video. Sun, sun rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, any personal planets, or if you even have a ninth house, ninth house stellium. So here we go. Uh, Sagittarius, you know, I apologize. Oh gosh. I know y'all like can't spell Sagittarius. There we go. Why is it all caps? Okay, computer, work with me. <laughs> Sorry, no disrespect to my Sagges. Um, I am Sag rising, so I'm right there with you all. Uh, Sagittarius um, reading for, let's clarify, wealth, money, outlook reading for the Venus in Taurus transit there we go we got the question out took a little bit but we got the question out so let's see what we have here let's lead off with what is going on in Sagittarius's world in regards of business money investments career dollars all that stuff oh, high priestess five of pentacles eight of swords and nine of wands. Um, so we have some some injuries. I know Sagittarius is moving fast and foolhardy. And this transit, so we have uh, Earth um, combining here with, with fire. So that's like a hot rock. Uh, so if anything, hopefully there'll be a little bit of grounding. Grounding. And, you know, this is more so just taking it a bit higher. This is... Venus and Jupiter getting along, um, which I, I think that the playfulness is there. You know, Venus can be a little bit folly in her own way. And, but Jupiter, I mean, Sagittarius, you guys are large and in charge. Um, and looking here at these cards, I think, yeah, slowing down because we have a person that's unable to come out of their power. We have someone that's this tired. Uh, again, they're making strides. They're making strides, but they're tired. And Five of Pentacles is definitely concern. Um, it's concern. Um, so let's start again. Let's let's figure out what is what is this because I'm trying to pick up on what area of wealth, business, money is going on with Sag. But let's clarify the High Priestess. She's got the answers. Oh, uh, maybe you guys got to the end. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. That's why we asked the high priestess. You guys just got to the end of doing something big, which makes sense because the nines are, um, I always tell people it's kind of like takes nine months to have a kid. Y'all just birthed a project, but y'all are tired. <laughs> like it was like a period of hard work, hard work. Um, and that, may, that actually may explain this five of pentacles. Um, yeah, that, that may explain the five pentacles. Um, but let's go back here because the devil also is work. Um, but you got it done. Nine of cups, that's a great sign. Um, so it was completely checking the box of getting it done and then it brought emotional fulfillment. But now this is the state of your body. That's what's going on. And, you know, Sag for the most part are active, outgoing. You know, most Sages love to be outside. I think, yeah, that's what's going on. You guys had to get inside to work. Whether it was telework, working in the office, I mean, unless, I mean, I'm sure there's some sadness like, I work outside. But either way, this guy's outside and he got a bandage over his head. Y'all need to rest. So before we even talk about these restorative cards up here to the upper right, let's get some, some peek in. What, what did y'all just finish up, Sagittarius? Oh, something that was real traditional. Um, oh, yeah, I work with, I wonder if some, got some lawyers here. <laughs> um nego oh negotiations um but the project definitely was very traditional um yeah it was it was traditional so i think and and the devil is i mean we got literally t uh, capricorn energy uh and taurus energy coming together which you know that's earth sign and um six of pentacles like i said that's negotiation 
getting and also this also is balance getting getting the formula right to to meet the objective um and again we're in that realm of pinnacle so there there was work done um let's get one more i don't know for some reason i feel like because we had another major what's one more uh, yep yeah, i think this kind of confirms the emotional fulfillment that came um because you know sagittarius can <laughs> oh that's why y'all so tired like again sagittarius and we never you know this the whole chart that really makes a person individual in the, the whole chart makes a person's uh characteristics shine but for sagittarius to sit in work hard study get something done you know that is that's concentration because it's such true, like i said they like to be hello they're half horse half human they always like to be on the go getting outside having adventures yes i think and that is why we have these wounded cars up here um you guys were not able to have as many adventures that y'all need and that's that's a problem <laughs> so let's break this down now because my biggest concern is um the lack of feeling pow empowered to get yourself out of this situation of to me it's just like i said tiredness is a good burn it's a good burnt that burnt out feeling um it's a good burnt out feeling but i guess um i'm wondering like y'all haven't really been here in a long time uh or this this notion of working now and i, and I don't want to be disrespectful by saying this notion of working hard is foreign because that's not what i'm trying to say but again it was this project the devil is is hard working energy and it bond, bonded you all to the job, to the nine to five, to the, the side project. Maybe, oh, you know, hey, let me use these new internet slang. Maybe y'all launched. It was launch day or working up towards a launch. So the emotional fulfillment is there. And, and it was definitely something very personal because nine of cups is, is which, oh, you know, and I take that back. Like I said, this is not anything new to y'all because like this is like the trophy stand here. Um, but for some reason, and this could be a bigger lesson of, again, y'all got those trophy stand, but y'all keep getting back into the state, um, burnt out, um, passion wise, maybe even, you know, not, not physical wounds, but the body is tired. The body, this is the, the body being tired. And then mentally y'all feel powerless. That is the outcome from this, all this achievement. So yeah, that is what this reading is about how to reverse this and, allow y'all to be in these hard working states, but to not come out burnt out. So let's start with, cause to me, you got to master your mind before we can get to the body and then we'll get to the energy. So we're going to run it backwards. So what does Sagittarius need to do to remember this woman? She can wiggle herself out of these binds. She can take off this, uh, free herself and then also free her, her vision from being blocked and go on about her way. But it starts with the mental work. So what do y'all need to do with the mental work? Um, we pulled the Sagittarius card. Yes. Yeah, so to me, doing Sagittarius things. Um, we're outside. But it's, it's also getting, oh, I mean, I hate to use this buzzword of self-care formula, but that's what we're, that is what the angels are telling me right now. The self-care formula. I don't even know if there is a self-care formula. Um, so let's get the self-care formula. Games. Um, watching games, playing games, being outside, avoiding drama, that's for sure. Um, avoiding drama. Um, but the five of wands can be like I'm looking at it as competition. Uh, but like I said, to me, like playing and you know, Sagittarius likes to have fun. So it could be card games, video games, um, but having fun with the groups. Yeah, so maybe actually getting out with your friends, um, and then enjoying something something or something along that line. Let me see. Let's get one more. Yep, and that confirms it will give you a new spark of mental mental energy. Um, yeah, watching games on TV. It ha yeah, definitely games or, you know, some people may not play games. Uh, anything that I guess makes you, maybe, but people are here. So, because I'm like, mm, reading, I don't know. Um, oh, it could be, oh yeah, it could be reading. Like, if you want to reread the Game of Thrones, the books. Um the books or stuff in that area. <laughs> We're not going to go super detailed, but at the end of the day, it points to having some type of fun. Um, cause I think, well, yeah, the reason why I'm not feeling the books is cause that's a solitary thing. And, um, it's not in the Librian way, but Sagittarius do need people. So it's ha having fun in groups that does not make you feel chaotic. 
Um, that's why I kind of said, you know, watching sports, watching, um, it's, I'm sorry. I don't watch a lot of TV, so I can't really, I'm not a TV or a movie, but movies, something like that. Um, something where you're not, like intentional numbing out. You don't want to be like doom scrolling or like, I don't, is it doom new net Netflix in, <laughs> you know, um, that's why I said the groups, I think the people component is what's important here. So it's going to spark, your, get spark you up and get your brain reset. So once your mind is reset, now let's go to the body. What do we need to do to get the body feeling better? The world. Um, let's draw one more with the world. Where are we going with the world? Oh, I can, you guys continue to get hit hit on spending time. So this is, um, oh, because you know Sagittarius is a, is 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 the upper thinking. So spending time with your guides. And spending time with your family, maybe your older family members. Um, oh, because it's gonna bring you into gratitude, especially especially talking with your guides, your and your spirit team, whoever's around you. Um, yeah, hello. I keep forgetting Sagittarius, also Jupiter. That is like religion. So some of that time, some spiritual time, some spiritual time, and some family time, because that's gonna make y'all feel gra- gra- grateful. Even though y'all burnt out, you're gonna remember the wise of the wise. Y'all going to remember the wise of the wise. Like, oh, I'm tired, but I'm still here. You know how Sagittarius would get to going, get to getting to preaching? Like, I'm still here. I'm alive. I'm free. I can talk. I'm happy. Like, that's where y'all need to go. Y'all got to get on, on that. Y'all got to get this. Be on the spectrum of the happy-go-lucky Sagittarius person. So that's for the body. Now, for the energy. Because <laughs> I feel like, all right, we got the body. I feel like the, the energy now will come. What do we need to do? We're not going to go back to working. <laughs> I don't have reversals turned on in this ad, but this is telling me don't pre- don't prematurely think it's time to go back to work. You need time to rest. Um, you need time to rest. This actually may say, I think it, this makes me think about shopping a little, maybe changing up the wardrobe. Um, yeah, moving away. That's, again, not moving towards work, but but honoring the break. This is mental. Six of Swords is mental. Honoring the break. So this is pretty good. Let's give a couple more advice cards for Sagittarius. With Because I guess to me, this is really work-life balance. To summarize it all, this is really work-life balance. Um, We saw y'all got out of, ba- out of balance here with these cards that I'm tapping on. We know that works important. And, you know, and the thing is we had, you know, we're going to have the high priestess. She helped us out in the beginning. Let me move these cards out the way. These two advice cards, high priestess, calling in the uh, deity energy, because that is going within. And, again, Sagittarius, you guys love, like, all those things that I just said, religions, myths, and tales, and um, what is it, Sci- sci-fi and fantasy adventure. Uh, so, was going to go to the high priestess. What is the last parting words of advice for Sagittarius having work-life balance and also balance with, like I said, there were some people, where were those other cards? Yeah. With the people, 10 of, 10 of pentacles and five of wands. But I also feel like there needs to be a little bit of alone time to recharge too. But let's see what these final two cards say. Ooh, heartbreak and the fool. Um, yeah, but this heart, uh, three of swords, I mean, I know it looks so dramatic, but it's not over. You can't overload yourself because you will burn out. That's what this card is saying to me. Three of swords is like, don't, don't, don't intentionally put those swords through your heart. Like have some, some, some rest time and begin a journey. This is the beginning. So I think th- back to answering this question for Venus and Taurus, y'all are going to begin a new journey here, but y'all going to now be equipped work-life balance balance between the self and having time with others that's what i got sagittarian so you like this video as usual i'm asking please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel peace